Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is going to be a crazy adventure today. I'm sitting down in front of the HQ right now, and we're getting ready to go on a river fishing trip. Uh, actually, a river I've never even fished before, the Red River, and we're taking out an airboat. Recently discovered that the people that work out of the building behind our HQ, they're actually a custom boat manufacturer. So they do these like shallow running, cool jet boats, air boats, some crazy boats that, you know, I don't have much experience in. So that is what we're doing today. We're taking one of their like extremely fast, badass air boats, and we're gonna go up on what is called the Red River. Red River's got a lot of history. It's mostly got catfish in it. And so we're gonna attempt to get some online, but it's gonna be sick just going out in this air boat. Right now it is appearing as if we are on a Longhorn Ranch, which I'm assuming is on the river. I, I thought we were going to like a public boat ramp somewhere. I have never been up on the Red River in this area. I've crossed over, you know, a hundred times on I-35, but this is somebody's ranch apparently. We're getting a little special treat here today. Here we are at the Red River. I'll give you one guess why they call it the Red River. That's right, we are in that Oklahoma red dirt. And I have fished a tournament on the Red River on the Louisiana side, but I've never messed around with fishing on this Oklahoma, Texas side. This is also a big area historically with the Comanches and the settlers, a lot, a lot of action happened around here. Comanches would come across, um, you know, they would take horses, go back into, into Oklahoma, and the, the boat archery, was very special to, to them. It grows in the Red River Valley. And if you guys have uh, seen some of my videos with the bows that I've been making, um, I've made two so far out of boat arc. It is one of the best woods in the country, that and you, which grows on the West Coast. It's the fastest, uh, most durable wood that you can use. So tons of hickories, tons of boat arcs. It's really, really cool place. I'm excited to see the whole thing and I picked up some uh, some some baits at Walmart, just some, have you guys ever seen, I don't understand this, the shad that are in the bags, how does that stay not rotting? I don't get it, it's witchcraft, but we're gonna throw some of those on some trot lines, some jugs, we've obviously got some current here, so it should be challenging, and I've got some lines. Let me introduce you to the boys. Is that how you do it? You throw it off? You just slide it up on the grass. Is that a uh, is that common practice or is that something you guys just do? So we built the roller system so it doesn't hit the grass rake. When it, you just drive it up on the trailer whenever you're done. Unload it, dry load it right back up. What in good. the world? All right, we're gonna get the full tour here. Let me introduce you to the boys. This is Kyle. What's up? That's Ty right there. And that's Austin walking up over here. So why don't you guys walk me through we'll what in the world is going on here with this do thing? Do a little walk through. Yeah. Um, so this is a 16 foot by seven uh, airboat. It's actually a tunnel hole, so it's a little bit different than a flat bottom, but we won't get into the nitty gritty details. Um, but focusing on more of the flashy stuff, that's a uh, LS3 or a 6.2, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was a crate GM motor. Uh, they got hurt once, and so now it's bored over to 408 and built top to bottom. Um, and then we've got twin precision 64, 66 mirror image turbos. Um, we're running about right at 15 to 20 pounds of boost. Um, at max RPM. Like how many horsepower does this thing have? <laughs> um, so, I mean, we've never had it on dyno, but we're guessing that on pump fuel and the way everything's set up, uh, it would make in between nine and 950 on a dyno. Oh. Um, so pretty okay. stout. Um, and then we're running a uh, counter rotator belt drive system. Um, and then we've got two six blade props. This is crazy. This I mean, this looks like there's machetes on here, and they're not they're like they're not 
when I was behind you guys looking, I thought that they were, I thought it was one prop and they were uh, facing different directions, but now I see there's yeah. two. No, they, they turn individually like that opposite direction. So what it does is it takes all of the torque roll out of the motor and keeps the boat on a center line, which is um, a huge, you know, part as to why this tunnel hole works so well is because everything is riding on a center pad. Um, and as we increase speed, that pad is getting smaller and smaller and yeah, smaller. And right. basically, you know, when we're over 60, 70 miles an hour, um, the entire boat's just out of the water, just on a small two by two little pad here in the back. I got you. So there's a, there's a planer right here. Yes, yeah, just a adjustable. trim tab. And trim so tab. depending on where the coolers are at, who's on the boat, how much fuel you got. And especially like if we're out on the river and there's 50 boats during a river run, uh, the water's not smooth, and so we got that trim tab just as like a dampener, uh, just so it doesn't beat the hell out of you when you're driving. That sounds adventurous, boys. Uh, do you need a special license to drive these things, or is there any requirements? Not that I know of. Because I'm thinking I probably need like at least one sleeve tattoo, <laughs> smoke unfiltered cigarettes, and I'd just be a complete badass. I don't know if I'm qualified to even ride on this thing, but we're gonna have some fun. Uh, okay, I got one really important question for you yeah, boys. what's up? Do you have four sets of ear earmuffs? Yep, yep. yep. So Damn we right. <laughs> be in trouble there. You wouldn't make it without it, I promise. I could yeah. guarantee you. I bet if I stood here, you guys turned this on, my clothes would blow off. Oh yeah. Man, no one wants to see that. We're about to turn it on, let it run, get it warmed you up, just and then we'll- jacked this thing off the trailer, like dumped it, and I guess you're just gonna ride down these rocks. It's all, it's all good? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just dry, no problem, man. <laughs> Everyone wants to see this. Oh, I bet. I think this is the one. Is we're, we're at least going to try. This is a nice little deep hole. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> Dude, there's a couple turns where I was like, oh, <laughs> That oh. one where that log was in the middle, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was puckered for 
10 and a half seconds there. Water cleared up way more than I thought oh, it would. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Once we got past that Choctaw Creek, this is all from, you know, Texoma, so it's... It's clear. It's I mean, it's clean. semi-clear. Oh, I've run into the old Texoma weather situation a time or two, so I know how this goes. So, we'll, we'll see what, give her, what's Give her a dangle. On. Clouds and rain have appeared. Lightning as well. There's another one. Well, bam. Another one. Got a got one jug out right now. Just building a couple more. We uh, we're gonna be out here if it rains. There, there is no easy escape, I assure you. So, bucker up, bucker up your butts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step down from the highest point here. Kyle, you're kind of screwed. So, lightning always gets the tallest object. We've got two jugs out right now. I've got one uh, catfish bait line and I've got a spoon that I've just been tossing out here because we're so close to where they let water out of the dam. I guarantee you there's probably white bass, maybe some stripers, some juvenile stripers, and then uh, there's got to be some largemouth around here somewhere. But I uh, think we're going to be obstructed by lightning. There's only so much that uh, that a man could take, you know, lightning popping all around. Since we're on a river, we just got these crazy weather changes. It's gonna fly yep. out. Oh yeah, put it in that. Yep. up on the beach right now no, just stopped not. raining we're getting out of the rain threw a couple of nudes out and I've got a line with some snake bait uh, nice deep hole here by this bridge yeah we're just kind of waiting out the storms don't want to get hit by lightning with you know I've got an aluminum boat holding fishing rods never good oh goodness oh, okay that's a that's a rope that was a snake Sad what do we day. got? Got our hopes up. Nothing but a turtle. Oh, dude. It's, it's total time. It's just <laughs> freaking total it's time. time. <laughs> it's a total time on that bridge. Dead coming, man. The line started moving. Ty grabbed the pole and it's a, it's, it's a turtle. Catch of the day. Got some red eared slider. A beauty. The turtle was released on Instagram. This adventure, I think, the fishing part of this adventure is is maybe coming to a close. Um, we're in a deep hole right now, which I would think is a great catfishing spot. We've still got the two jugs out. I haven't seen any any bobs, any movements on the jugs over here. I'm just not I'm just not feeling the love today. Maybe the catfish aren't feeling the love. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sick getting around in this baby right here. This thing is so so hot, like on this engine that I literally thought the sun was like hitting the back of my neck. It was just the engine, it was just the heat. So, pretty extreme stuff. And we were only going like 40, but how, how fast will this thing go? Oh, if, how fast will it Yeah, if we really wanted to like kick up the juice. It's like 85. 85, you kidding me? That's faster than, than my boat. Not safe? Oh yeah, it's super safe. Super safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be sarcastic. Ain't safe, we ain't doing that here today. I wanna live. But anyway, there's some really cool adventures to be had in boats like this. They also make like specific uh, bow fishing boats. And uh, when they have one of those in the shop, I'd like to like to get out and do the bow fishing with them with all the lights and everything, especially on these rivers. You just can't you either have, have to have a jet boat or you have to have an airboat like this. We were going over water that's like this deep. So even the crispy collector would not last.
That was freaking awesome. I just took that thing right up the hill, y'all. This right here, on this turbo, if you touch that, oh, it'll sizzle your finger. <laughs> you could bake a hot dog on that sucker, I promise you. Dude, that thing literally kept me warm. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it honestly feels pretty good. It, it does. Like it's fire. like putting your back to a campfire. You work the fuel perfectly. How much, well. It was like kind of going on the. How much we got left? Oh, we're, fr we're fine. We're on E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much was gas? We, it was 550 gallon, and we put in 100 bucks, and then we went. That was. That's how many miles was that? 18 gallons. Oh my God. I think we went like 45, 50 miles. Like not good. Two, two and a half miles a gallon. Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> Which good. is fantastic for what it is, you know. Honestly, yeah, because my that's what my motor gets when I'm going full blast. Yeah. Now, if you if you put the throttle down on this thing. We'd be out in probably like 30 now, seconds. The other day we did like two or three pulls just staying in it for, I don't know, a quarter mile or so. And, and just three it. pulls was a quarter tank. <laughs> wow. So it'll drink it. Pretty fun stuff, man. This is a, I mean, it's, it's kind of a fun toy, but it's also a pretty cool fishing mechanism, you know. Didn't catch them today, but um, I could see the bow fishing being awesome. And then also getting in some of those, those holes, like catfish holes but I don't know what I'm doing up here, guys. I really don't. Like, if you have any river fishing uh, catfish tips for me, I'd love to know. I've really only fished for them in, uh, in lakes. So that's all I know. So you guys have probably never seen this go down. I'm guessing most of you out there. You've seen me put my boat on my trailer a hundred times. You know how that normally works. 900 horsepower, twin turbo engine with two blades on it. About to push this up. back in the crispy. I want to thank the boys over at Arrow Wake for taking me out today for a unique river experience to say the least. I think I need to go back out there and want to know what the heck I'm doing with you know, catfishing. I know they have huge catfish in there. I just, I don't know, I'm too scared to get in there and noodle with them I suppose. But what I do have is my trot line stuff that I made uh, in a previous video. So, so I've been anxious to take it out and actually get some fish on it. What I'm not sure about is uh, this stuff right here, these shads that are like, I, I, don't, I don't know, they don't smell, it's, it's really weird. I'm like, how can that, how can that be? And you may also notice that that big beautiful silver bullet is back in the driveway. She is fully locked and loaded and ready to dangle. That is coming up as well. Thank you guys for tuning in to another outdoor adventure, hanging with me. Smash the like button for adventurous and greatness in the great outdoors. Godspeed, God bless you, we'll see you soon.